welcome to my channel Fat Taquito. My friends call me Jelly. I've used the ketogenic journey to lose 206 pounds and I am not done yet. So if you're new to my channel and you want to see me lose the rest of my weight plus uh, maintain after I get there, want to see my daily life even if you don't do keto because I talk about everything from sleep to fun, walking, my cats, what I bought, what deals are out there everywhere because I love to shop and pay a dollar for name brand clothes. Yes, I do it a lot. Kohl's, JCPenney's, Kato's. You can get some good deals. You just got to know what time of the year to go. If you're interested in any of those kind of things, um, think about hitting the subscribe button. So let me go ahead and show you this morning's readings and numbers. Okay, ketone 0 0.6. What? Okay, we have to poke again. That completely healed up. That's so weird. Ninety-five. Yes, I was almost forgetting to film this stuff. So this is yesterday's card manager for Wednesday. I had seven cards left out of twenty-one total, but I do twenty, so I really had six. So I used fourteen total carbs yesterday. Ten net, seventy grams of fat, one hundred and ten protein, one thousand one hundred and eighteen calories. You would think. I would go down in weight drastically, but hello ibuprofen. Okay, look what happened. Yep, you see that? I went up. This was my GKI this morning. I am still in low ketosis. My glucose has gone higher. My ketones have dropped. That is probably from this time of the month and the ibuprofen. Both things causes this issue with me, but I am still in ketosis. Alright, so this is my sleep. Six hours, 46 minutes, awake, 40 or 54. I just, let's see what's trying to kick in. My sleep was all over the place. And I got 10,000 steps in yesterday. Um, I got my workout for almost an hour, like 48 minutes yesterday. I supposedly burned this many calories. How many did I eat? 1,100. You would think the scale would go down, not up to. But we will discuss all that. And that is it. Okay, so yes, yes, my weight is up on that scale, but I knew it was going to happen. There is a low pressure. I had to take two 800 milligrams ibuprofen yesterday. We all know when that happens, it lowers my ketosis, it raises my blood sugar, and I go up dramatically on the scale. I also didn't get much walking in yesterday. I only got 48 minutes of my exercise because usually I have to really work out hard and sweat hard not to go up on the scale after having ibuprofen it's just how it is plus it's that time of the month so it, it's time for me to go up because unfortunately no matter how hard i try with or without the ibuprofen i go up between three and seven pounds every time during that time of the month there's about a 11 to 12 day radius like right before and during that my body goes all crazy on me. <laughs> Welcome to being a woman, right? Think I'd be used to it, but nope, I'm never getting used to that. I hate seeing that scale go up. I knew it was going to, too. And I didn't cheat. And I don't mean cheat by, ooh, I went off keto. No, see, this is day 18, I think, of the 30 day pre holiday challenge of staying keto, 20 total carbs or less. Um, and I stayed on it. You saw what I bought yesterday, didn't try any of it. You saw what came in the keto box if you watched the video, didn't try any of it. It is in my stash. Um, I gotta make something different to hold my stash. There's just so much, it just doesn't fit where I have it. It's kind of spread out everywhere. And what is my stash? Well, my stash is all these kind of keto bars and goodies I've seen over the last year and most of them have dates that don't expire for the next year or two. Um, and I've gotten them in boxes. I've gotten them when they're on sale because they're really expensive. And they are for when I hit maintenance mode. One, 
I'm going to try them and see if y'all, my taste is anything like y'all's when you say it's amazing. Yes, multiple people have told me that that Quest Lemon is too tarty and then some people are absolutely in love with it. So, of course I want to try it, right? I got to see, is it too tarty for me or will I love it? So far, I only like two Quest bars. That's it. Just two. The glazed donut and birthday cake. Um, no, I did like the Heroes, that little white Hero one they came out with. Now, there are tons of Quest Bars that have come out that I have not tried yet, that I have bought to try in the future. So, when I was trying them, they only had like brownies, um, oatmeal, chocolate chip, a peanut butter something. Like, they had the basics, because I haven't had them since last summer, and that was the, uh, glazed donut that came out last summer and I loved it. I had it when I was in Hawaii and I don't mean this past summer, I mean the year before, 2019, before hell broke loose. So um, yeah, I, I collect them for maintaining and trying them in the future to see if I can have them on maintenance mode. I know I can't have them while losing because they have ingredients that will stall me, kick me, cause me inflammation. All nuts cause me inflammation. <laughs> so yeah. But, but some of y'all do the same thing. You collect them for when you hit maintenance mode because you're so close, you know you're going to be there soon, right? So I've been really, really stressing to try to get that last bit of weight down. I'm down to, of course, I'm up two pounds, but I don't count water weight. Um, so I've got 14 pounds of fat still to lose to hit my main goal. I don't know if that's where I'm stopping yet, but my main goal is 148 from 368. So I'm, I'm proud of that main goal and that's where I'm headed to, but I do have to admit, um, I'm not in a bathing suit, so I'm completely happy with my, my body looks like. I'm okay with a tiny tummy, but I do want it gone, don't get me wrong, see, it needs to go away because it's still there, um, but uh, I'm okay, like I'm perfectly content and happy with myself. But I would like that to be a little flatter. And it is solid, hard, not loose skin, not loose fat. So um, I just have to wait until it goes away. Like, I don't even know. It's just as hard as a rock. Um, so hopefully it'll go down. I don't know. <laughs> and then my thighs, of course. I have been doing, let me tell you people, I have been doing a crazy, crazy amount of squats a day plus my workout videos because I want a bubble butt and I want to tighten my thighs and as I walk through the house I am crying in tears. The front of my thighs are hurting the inside and a lot of it is me doing those squats plus the dancing routine I do in the VR headset for over an hour it has a lot of squatting type movements in it and a lot of pulling your legs way up high and all kind of crazy stuff and a lot of arm stuff like this a lot in it and oh my gosh it works everything out even though I don't have weights on me I feel it throughout my whole body and no I did not work out at all to lose the 181 pounds that was sedentary it was all done by a keto diet um, and then I put on weight, like 20 something pounds. And then, um, after I got that 20 something pounds off again, I realized if I don't want to have to wait forever to get the weight off because my body had gotten used to what I'm eating, I'm going to have to spell some more energy. I can't just sit in a chair anymore. I need to move. And on top of it, I wanted to build strength and some muscles and look toner and I have this energy that needs to burn and get out of my body anyways. Um, I am having heart palpitations today and I realize why I forgot my magnesium yesterday and it was too late to take it this morning. It puts me to sleep and it makes me a tiny bit nauseous so I don't take them in the morning. So you really need to pay attention to your electrolytes. That's like the first time I've forgotten it in a long time but boy do I feel it when I forget it. I was wondering all night why my heart was waking me up I'm pounding a little and it's the magnesium. It also helps with high blood pressure. It lowers my blood pressure extremely low, which I like. Uh, didn't like it at first because my body was so used to running on such high. It took a while to get used to the lower. I am crazy hot today, so if you see me sweating, I'm sorry. I don't want to turn my AC on. It's 80 something in my house and pouring rain, so there's no opening the window. But I am, um, I can't get out and walk today, 
so I'm going to be working out and I want to sweat more. So save money on my electricity and uh, sweat while I'm working out, right? Because that's what I'm going to go do soon probably. I've already had breakfast. Um, it's a little different than what I have been having, just a tiny bit. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you that. So today's food will be a little different than what you're used to seeing me eat because it's that time of the month and I've already gone 17 days of being extremely strict on everything um, with ingredients and everything. I'm not going to go over my carbs. I'm not going over the carbs at all, so don't worry about that. Um, but you will see that today's is going to push the limit and maybe even go over in some areas, but not the carbs, um, just because I like to shock my body. I've done this time and time again. I don't really explain it. Uh, it's just always been in my macros, and I never explain that. I, just like I don't eat the same time every day. I don't... Um, eat necessarily the same amount like I would have a protein shake every day but I don't want my body to get used to it the only thing you will see me eat every single day for over two plus years three years is um my collagen coffees that I have everything else changes and you're gonna see a lot of the pancakes now that I can have eggs and some coconut flour because I really really enjoy them and they are my dessert and they are my breakfast and they make me happy and yeah so let's go ahead and look at my breakfast Okay, it's 1.10. Having my second coffee, I have three of these today. Total of two collagen scoops. Um, I need to show y'all something. Mm-hmm. Aretha, thank you so much once again. But I'm going to show you my reaction uh, from last night when I received it. And um, it's a horribly made video. But you're going to see how excited I am and how happy you made me and I was almost in tears. Y'all have been so sweet to me with all the comments and oh, when, when people send me gifts like Diana sent me the attachment. I was in tears. Not on camera. I didn't want to see people to see me cry because I just, it just touches my heart. It's just so sweet. Um, it makes me feel appreciated. It makes me feel like I'm really helping people. Um, so here we go. Let's see my reaction from last night. Okay, so this should have been in yesterday's video, but I just found out and I've already uploaded yesterday's video. Oh my gosh, I am totally, totally in shock right now because um, Aretha has given me $40 on my PayPal. <gasps> I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, I don't even... I can get all kind of attachments or something. Oh my gosh, y'all just don't even know. I can even go get those. Um, I need some more test strips too for my Keto Mojo. I'm going to have to think about what I want to spend it on. Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you. I'm so, you just, you don't even know. I don't expect anything from y'all. And it's just amazing, amazing and in shock, like totally in shock when I receive anything. So thank you so 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 much I know it's dark out here and the lights glaring and you hear the rain but I wanted you to see how sad it was like right after I found out like a few minutes ago so thank you so much thank you so much like I don't even know what to do with it yet I have so many things going through my mind um because the keto card I just caught got actually cost the $40 and I was like well that could pay for my keto card and then I'm like, well, I could go get a, the spatula thingy for the thing because that's 30 something dollars. And then I'm like, my mind is all over the place. Okay, so when you see me buy stuff, I'm barely paying anything for anything. I buy everything on clearance. I know what I'm going to do with that money. There's a pair of Ugg boots I really want. They're $89. And I don't spend that much on anything. Like, it has to be a major sell. I mean, that is a major sell. But for clothes, I've never spent that much. For shoes, never spent that much. I think the highest I sp spent was $60 on some Skechers tennis shoes, which I can't find my size anywhere because I really need some new ones. Um, but they're four years old. Like, I keep my shoes forever. My boots, one pair that I'm wearing every single day, uh, they're still 13 years old, and the... Um, <laughs> sole is starting to come off because it's really hard for me to find on sale 
shoes that fit me. And it's really hard for me to pay over like $10, $20 for something. Like that KitchenAid was hard for me to do, but that's my Christmas present from multiple people that I'm taking the money they give me every year to pay for it. Um, but there are some Uggs at Kohl's that has the leopard print all on the top of it, fluffy. And I'm about to go see if they happen to have my size because I wear 11. Um, but I don't know, I need to go try, like I said in yesterday's video, I really need to go try them on because some Uggs I only wear 10. But they're going to be on clearance on Black Friday and for $89, like on sale. And I could take that 40 and put towards that. See, see, my mind's all over the place. I'm just so crazy excited. I also started another web page called, um, I think it's We Me or Me We or We Me. I don't know. I just did it. Keto Diamond did it. So I went and did it. Um, and I was thinking about doing the premium part, but I don't know. I really need a website or something. Okay, so I was thinking about doing that whole membership here on on YouTube, but I want to get um, some reactions because when Keto Diamond did it, people thought they were going to have to pay for her content and they unsubscribed. That is not what this is about. This is, would be extra content. All my bloopers that I don't want to show on YouTube because I don't want to lose people because I ranted or lose people because I said some stupid stuff in bloopers or things like that. So I would put it up on the membership thing where they have different tiers of paying and what, you know, in, over there. And you would be able to see my craziness. But that's also what the we, me, or me, we website's going to be too. I'm going to do like a, a journal thing on there too. And that's completely 100% free over there too. Um, I, I don't know. Because I don't want to lose anyone for starting a membership thing. Um, and I wouldn't cut anything from my videos now. It would stay exactly the same. It would just be the stuff that actually doesn't make it into my videos. One, it makes my videos too long. Two, I ranted and was stupid or looked blonde or you know, did my opening a million times sucking at it. It would be things like that. Things I wouldn't ever put on YouTube. Things um, I wouldn't probably ever put on that journal page over there. I don't know. Everyone keeps telling me I need to make a blog. Like do a website and do a blog. I really suck at spelling. And I know I have google and all them to spell the words out for me but then i have to type it and sometimes they talk too fast and i have to keep re-asking them how do you spell blah 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 and then type to oh no how do you spell it again <laughs> so yeah what i need to do is buy me another alexa show one of those um show ones because i have the portal in here and when i ask her how to spell something it'll stay up there written so i can just look and type what it says um but I don't have that in my office and I can't move her. She needs to be in here. Um, so I was thinking about buying one of the smaller ones because they got a bunch on sale for Black Friday too. I don't know. I have to think about it. There's a new one coming out that's going to be really expensive. But I was thinking about getting that later in the future with my points because I have a lot of credit card points um, to in the kitchen and then it does lives you can do lives from it and stuff and calls live calls and all kind of stuff and it shows you recipes and it does all kind of cool things so yeah if you're new to my channel and you didn't follow about the ibuprofen it really does make me gain weight unfortunately I'm not the only one there's a lot of meds out there that can make you gain some fluid without realizing it I used to stress because I thought I was putting weight on it, but that was before I realized what was causing it. And then once I realized, well, that's because it's fluid. I don't pee that much at all. Once I swallow ibuprofen, I'm lucky to pee a couple of times a day, but my kidneys are fine. And the doctor says it's completely normal. I've been on it since I was 13. If it was going to damage my kidneys, liver or anything, it would have done it years ago. I'm 42. So, it's just a side effect that I get really badly. It's also why I am got my house hot so I can sweat some of the fluid off since it ain't coming out the other way. But these storms make me have to take it for my migraines because I can deal with the pain because I'm in some muscle pain. That also could be why I've got so much fluid on me because 
I feel it, people, everywhere, everywhere, but it's going to be worth it, right? And I have, I was rushing and rushing to lose my last 14 pounds, and I still want to get it over with because I don't know where I want to stop. It's one reason I want to get it over with, so I can be like, okay, we're stopping in the 140s or we're going to the 130s. I don't know. I'm five, six and a half. Um, I like a little junk in the trunk, meaning... I don't want skinny legs. I don't want a skinny butt. I don't want to lose any more boobs. I'm perfectly fine with my arms. I just need to tighten them up some more. Um, I'm fine with my thighs if I could tighten them up some more, and that's what I've been trying to do. There's just some in my stomach I want to lose. Um, but we don't get to choose where it comes from because lately it seems to be coming from my boobs. Yeah not a place I want it to come from. Just saying. Just saying. And my butt. It's coming from my butt now. <laughs> no, that needs to stay and get bigger, please. I don't want it wider. I just want it rounder. And that's what I'm working with, with the squats and those donkey kick thingies. Um, maybe I'll show you one of those workouts one day, like I did the yoga. Um, we'll see. I'm also trying to find some YouTube videos of women doing the dumbbells. Like, I bought Beachbody, and it's really type guy who helps you build muscles and crap but uh he doesn't work for me it just doesn't mm -mm. no 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 let me tell you never before okay last night my mom told my dad's friend how much weight I had lost and the reaction that came across in the phone call it got me for a second because other than I, I just never heard it wasn't, wow, she lost a lot of weight. It was, oh my God, she was huge. And, and I was. I just, when I was that big, I other than I knew I couldn't fit in clothes, I knew I couldn't fit in seats, I just never got the, wow, that person's huge. Um, like, before, that's like the first time I've actually heard it since elementary and middle school with the evil kids. Um... <laughs> So it just took me a moment, it was, and it, it bothered me for a second. I was like, well, he's right. I was huge. To be able to say I lost 206 pounds, I was huge. <laughs> so I had to own it. Instead of letting that hurt me and bother me, I had to own it. No, it wasn't from overeating. Most people can say it was from overeating, but mine was actually medical conditions that were out of control. And once we realized what they were and found out that keto was a cure for them, I mean, my whole life has changed. Okay. Whole life has changed. So I'm going to stop rambling today. Um, I need to go take my meds. I'm still at 2.5 dose of my heart meds for heart palpitations and stuff. I'm 20 minutes late because I've been talking too much. So I'm going to go take that. I'll show you what I eat. Maybe come back on here and talk a little more. I don't really know. I'm trying to catch up on everyone's videos. I'm really behind on everything. Um, it's just been crazy. I wanted to go to Costco today in case the truckers really do stop running. But we have flood warnings not to leave the house. And all the roads around us has been completely shut down. I can go across the street to Food Line and that's it. But we need to go buy in bulk. So that's not going to work. Hopefully tomorrow everything will calm down and I will be able to, um, no I won't, my dad has a stress test tomorrow, so, and I don't like going on Saturdays and Sundays, so it might have to be pushed off until next week. I'm still trying to find a turkey. There's only one turkey we can have, I think it's called Shady Brook, um, natural, no, no preservatives, no hormones, no nothing, completely fresh and clean, and I only know two places that sell that brand. And so far they've been out. So if we can't find it, we don't get a turkey because me and my mom and daughter cannot eat any other kind, especially butterball. So hopefully I can find it this year. Couldn't find one last year. But I am shutting up and uh, I'll show you the rest of my day. If I can get this to turn off because the little wand ain't working.
It is 3.11. I'm going to go ahead and have dinner in case this upsets my stomach. It will be done before the live. So what am I having? I am having nachos. Yes, keto nachos. It would be better if I did not forget the sour cream at my mother's house, but I did. And I'm doing cleaner than normal, so I'm not going to use my Taco Bell seasoning, you know, the little mild sauce because the maldextrin and stuff. But we are going to use these chips right now yes i know a lot of ingredients most people say this is dirty keto but there is no maldextrin in there so that's all that matters to me for this purpose and i have five ounces of ground beef 48 grams of tomato 40 grams of lettuce six black olives one ounce kobe jack cheese and yeah, I really wish I didn't forget the sour cream, but it would have put me over in carbs and fat anyways. So I'm just gonna eat it this way and hopefully it's as yummy as it looks. So this is what I have left and I'm not gonna force myself to eat it. I'm actually gonna put it away and maybe eat it in an hour or so because I'm starting to wonder if my stomach problems with my heartburn and stuff, it's just because my stomach has shrank so terribly much that I'm putting too much food in it and it's causing physical pain and it can cause heartburn if you, especially if you have GER or high anal hernia, if you put too much food in your stomach at once, it can cause it to come back up and since I am allergic to my own stomach acid, it can cause too much and make me too sick. So I'm going to give this a shot. I am completely full anyways, but I I think I do need to eat some more of the protein part at least. So I'm not throwing it away. It's going in the fridge. If I don't eat it, then um, a stray animal can eat it, right? I'm not sure if this is healthy for the cats to eat. I'm going to have to read up on it. I don't like giving them processed stuff that's weird. Um, it's funny. I'm more particular about the stray cats, what I give them, than I put in my own body sometimes. But let's get real. There's some fake sugars out there that can kill animals that won't kill us. Isn't that strange? I guess it has to do with their digestive system. I have a lot of hiccups right now and burps. So, um, but yeah. Hold on. Let me flip this around. I love those chips. Okay. One thing I can tell you about my little keto thing. I'm going to do the sour cream and the nacho um, Taco Bell mild sauce. Because however this is edible, it wasn't amazing to me like it is when I use the Taco Bell mild sauce and the sour cream which can add up in carbs quickly, it has maldextrin in it, and it can also add up in calories, and we know the sour cream always upsets my stomach, but it's, it's what I actually like, come to find out. To me, this was just too, too dry, too bland without all that stuff in it, but it's better than just eating the meat all by itself like I normally do. Uh, I can't wait to bring up some chicken and make with my attachment that Diana got me and made some chicken burgers and I actually want to do a taco salad with ground up chicken meat. Like I'm really excited to try that because I really love my Quest chips and I wasn't eating them because I'm doing total carbs but guess what? They fit in my macros even doing total carbs. Mm -hmm. And I love, love the loaded taco quest chips i hate the rest of them to be honest i don't like them but this loaded taco they got this one right 